Hello everyone, this is Red Robot, and yes, it's been about, what, five minutes since my last conch video, so yeah, it's probably time for another one. But wait, wait, hold your dislikes, hold your snarky comments, and just hold off unsubscribing. I promise you, this tactic takes the conch above and beyond anything we've ever seen before. Almost completely by accident, I might have created the most powerful combo ever on this channel. And here is the perfect storm uh, right before you. <laughs> What can happen when this goes off? Absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't think I've ever done anything like that in TF2 before, but this is something that I'm going to be doing a lot more of in the future, that's for sure. Alright, let's get down into the nitty gritty. This combo uses the biggest bazooka, the conch, and the melee doesn't really matter. I was using the disciplinary action. Um, I'll get into why I was using that later on. So, the reason why this works so damn well, if you could actually aim your shots and not miss all three to the side of the medic, is because the main downside of a banner like the conch, or the buff banner, or the battalion's backup, is the fact that it takes your secondary slot. And it might not seem so bad, but Soldier really, really loves the secondary slot. It lets him use something like the gunboats, so he can rocket jump basically for free, or something like the shotgun, which gives him backup when he runs out of ammo. Now this big weakness, running out of shots in your in your rocket launcher, is totally ignored by the biggest bazooka. One thing about the biggest that gets really overlooked is the fact that it can fire out consecutive shots really, really quickly. I mean, obviously the most impressive thing about the biggest is the triple shot mechanic and like overload jumping into a double rocket bomb. It's all very impressive and cool, but just the, the standard on the ground, constant reloading and firing is so fast and so powerful. And if you're walking over ammo, basically gives you a bottomless clip. So it's like Widowmaker Soldier combined with the health region of the conch and movement speed. You basically walk at people's faces and face tank their damage and then just shoot rockets until their entire team is dead. Sometimes literally until their entire team is dead. It almost it almost feels like I'm playing like Pyro with the flog and just walking forward at enemies because it's so this combo is so powerful, but not only that, it's so easy to use. It's like pretty brainless. I'm pretty sure pretty much anyone could just jump into a server, provided they like had decent positioning and didn't overextend too much, which I am very guilty of in these clips. A and just totally just clean out house. And on this push here, um, the conch really helps out my team because at the end of it, we actually wipe their team. And how often does that happen in a pub without like some sort of crazy Kritzkrieg push, right? Alright, so for the loadout, we've got the biggest bazooka for the non-stop rockets, the conch for the lifesteal and movement speed, and what about melee? Well, I went with the disciplinary action. I wasn't really using it on teammates that much, I mean it was kind of helpful if I wanted to like move without doing too much self damage because I have no self rocket resist. Um, but the discipline reaction is just there as a solid melee option uh, when I run out of ammo. I ran out of ammo a ton in these clips just because there's really no reason not to keep firing non-stop. Um, and I wasn't really yeah, taking taking much much key with my ammo count. But, um, but the discipline reaction, some people... I don't know if they've realized this, but it's probably like one of the best melee weapons in the game just at being a melee weapon despite the damage penalty because, look, it's gonna crit every time, right? So it, <laughs> the damage penalty doesn't really matter. And you can hit people like across the whole map with it. Its range is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure of two soldiers of equal skill, uh, one of them market gardening, the other one doing the same but with the disciplinary action. The disciplinary action soldier will probably come out of it with more kills just because the whip is so much more reliable, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, here's another example of, you know, slightly overextending. I got a little bit confident from that previous map, um, did just so well on that, um, that I just sort of felt a little bit invincible. But yeah, you can't take too much damage at once, provided the damage is coming at you, you know, slowly from different sources over time, you can regen it back easy with the conch. But yeah, if it's all coming at you at once, yeah, you're not gonna quite survive there. Honestly though, I'm kind of scratching my head wondering why I'd never thought to do this before. I mean, I've paired the conch with basically every other weapon in the game, and the biggest bazooka is just such a perfect fit for it. This loadout is able to perfectly show off everything I just love about the conch in general. I mean, it's got your ability to self-sustain, not really be reliant on medics at all. It's got that delicious, nutritious speed boost, which you know, I can never have enough of. And on top of that, those effects are applied in a radius to all your teammates. There is no question that the Conch is my favorite weapon in the game, just because of the nutty things you can do with it. Not only that, 
when you're using the conch, there's always like a little mini game within a game. You're not just, you know, firing rockets at the enemy non-stop trying to push the payload cart. No, no, no. There's a little bar down in the corner of your screen. You're trying to fill that up. A little little mini quest for you to, to complete. And the quest reward, oh, it's totally worth it. As you all know from watching these clips in general, and if you've been following my channel, I'm not exactly an expert with the biggest bazooka, in fact it's one of my least used rocket launchers, and if I can do this much destruction with this little knowledge as a newbie, just imagine what a person great with the biggest could do with this loadout, like, that's, that's downright terrifying, <laughs> I, I would not want to be against that person in the server, that's for sure. Yeah, getting a little bit over-enthusiastic there. <laughs> Okay, prepare yourself for this. If all of the clips in this video weren't, uh, weren't disgusting enough for you in terms of, of value and damage and healing and speed, this is a continuous conch push without dying <laughs> all the way until the end of the video. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, just keep watching. Look, man, I, I, I tried to lay off the conch videos for a bit. I give you guys a little bit more variety. I'm sure you've seen enough of it, but <laughs> this combo in particular, I, I couldn't not share it. I wasn't even, like, trying to get a recording at the start. I was just recording some biggest gameplay on the tail end of something else. Look, I, I've forgotten what I was trying to do. This is all I can think about right now. Because, look, the Badwater Tunnel is excellent for funneling a whole bunch of people into a tiny place for you to just destroy with splash damage. Uh, mind you, this is after the biggest splash radius nerf. Imagine what this would have been like pre-nerf, oh my god. But uh, yeah, spawn doors work pretty well when it comes to funneling people into a small area as well. So, you know, no shame, no honor. Um, I'm just in such an insane mindset right now that I'm just gonna sit outside spawn, spamming in, healing, doing damage, getting more kills non-stop, this was just the most insane game I've probably ever had. I, I love the conch so much, and you're never going to stop me making videos about it, and I'm going to use it till the day I die, or it gets nerfed, which, you know, probably would be fair. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I got for you right now. I hope you share my enthusiasm for the conch, and if you don't, well, this video is probably very painful to watch. Anyway, that's all I got for you right now. How about I catch you next time?